tracking with student manager. Uh, and again, what are the kind of things that we track in manager? The subject, interest, promotions, demographic data, and historical data. So let's first take a look at the name screen. In the person record, the, the customer or the prospect, again, the source, occupation, and organization codes are key elements in identifying who a person is and, of course, how they found out about your program. Uh, in addition, you really need to track their interest codes. A manager has a really neat uh, interest code subject system, and we'll talk about that in courses, uh, that can be done automatically by virtue of enrolling in a class, or you as an operator can add an interest to an individual student. At the class screen, you've got the subject code element. And the subject code is one, and we'll jump back real quick on that. The subject code is one where this is a automatic um, stamp that if you put a subject code in the course, any student who registers will have the, the code dance listed as an interest code. So it kind of cross-pollinates for you. Um, Department code, again, there are several other codes. The category code is one for making descriptive kind of elements. Um, the other area that we don't want to forget is that the location field, and Lori doesn't have a location for her belly dancing class. Um, uh, one of the things you can do with a location is that you can actually specify a location city, a location state, a location county in addition to the general information that has to do with what you're going to want a student to know about a class. And we'll talk about this in a little bit when we go in to do the reporting. But if you're wanting to do analyses of your classes based on how do enrollments uh, compare between different geographic locations, you certainly should take advantage of these fields on the location record. And again, if you're running programs that are community-based, that might be just in one community, you can play the MASH routine. And instead of using city and state and county, you could actually choose to use one of these fields and use a geographic uh, designation, northeast, southeast, center city, you know, west mall. Uh, and then be able to have uh, analyses of how your courses that might be held at different locations actually do as far as generating, generating enrollments. Okay, now we're to the registration record. And this is where, as far as the question comes in about marketing uh, tracking codes. And uh, this is Lori's example with belly dancing. And you'll see there are various kinds of promotions that might have been going on. An email ad, referred by friend, poster, radio ad, uh, the spring brochure. And the idea is that the tracking code should capture how the student discovered this class and brought them to the table. And so with promotion tracking here, we've got belly dancing with multiple promotions, and I offer that for a little eye candy for any male attendees that might be here. But in Student Manager, of course, you fill in the tracking code to find out which one of those was the most effective. So, okay, yeah, tracking and source code, and again, that sometimes can get to be a bit of confusion. Um, in the name record, if we're looking at a name record, there is a source code on the name, which is the source of how the name got into your database. Then on the registration record, you have the tracking code, which is a separate field, and it is per unique registration. And that's uh, they're basically the same set of drop-down values between both. One is for the source for the name, and the other is for the source of a registration. So, well, what can you get out of that? If you track the source code, then what do you get? Well, under statistics tracking, you have two reports. One is a course-by-course -course report, which would generate the, the registration analysis of what promotions brought registrations in to this class. And Lori has it noted, reports, statistics, tracking codes. The other way of looking at it would be to look at a term base, where you might want to look at 
how have your promotions performed for all of the enrollments for a given term? And again, we see a thumbnail over here to the right of the tracking code report. 